Hey guys, here's another video for Journey for the Crown. In this video, I want to talk to you about these new scripts I've created because over the last few weeks, I've been creating lots of uh, new scenes and some of them being really large. Things like adding grass and, and flowers and shrubs and trees throughout these zones was taking forever. And I, I should have done this sooner, but I guess it just required me to get to a point where I was fed up. So... I created these new scripts. It basically does it all automatically for me. It randomly places all those items on the terrain. It factors in things like the, the height of the terrain, if there's something in the way, and all that stuff in there. And It's really cool looking. This is the result of one of my scenes that I created in about 10 minutes. Um, so I want to show you guys basically how it's done because I think it's really cool. So first things first, um, just to explain how it is all designed is uh, I, I use a lot of occlusion in this game and occlusion basically if something isn't shown on camera the the game doesn't really render it it, it kind of hides it so you save a lot of computation power by doing that I also merge a lot of game objects together for instance these uh, these little rocks here if I click on one it uh, there's, there's actually a whole bunch of little rocks kind of just cluster together to look like a, like a cliff's edge. Um, so I merged all those together just so that uh, saves me a lot of computation power. Um, and then I also do a thing called texture atlasing and basically what that is is <clears throat> you got one drawing file or one image file and it shares a bunch of different things that you can utilize for like let's say like grass and mushrooms and they all share one image file and that that's a huge savings on your computer as well. So with those three things being said, um, I, I scripted it so that it takes all that into, into account. Um, so I'll show you here. Um, I'll just erase the grass and the shrubs just to show you how it's done. So now they're both gone. Um, let's start off with bushes. I'll, I'll create the folders for them because essentially in order to get occlusion to work I need to set everything into little folders and each one of these folders if I go over to the scene view is corresponded to a section on the terrain as you can see the the coordinates are changing for every one of those little spots and what I do is I I randomize a bunch of objects in that area and then I stuff it in this folder and I just keep doing that along this x-axis and then I move up the y-axis and then the entire scene is filled up with objects nicely stuffed in these little folders which then I can merge and then I can make sure that occlusion is working as well so let's go ahead and add some let's add some bushes here uh, essentially what I could do is I could just do a huge blanket of bushes right across the scene I can set the amount I want per uh, per area. I could increase the uh, radiuses of each one of these areas as well, um, but I'm, I'm fine with it being this size. Um, I can opt to cluster them, which I really like the way that looks. I think that looks more natural when a couple of uh, bushes are kind of clustered in one little section. I think that looks more natural, so I've been doing that quite often. I can set the radius, I can also set the quantity, and of course you can also change the rotation, which looks really good. I'm fine with the scale at, at one on this, but some objects like mushrooms look better when they're all different shapes and sizes. So let's go ahead and start placing those on the ground. So as each time I push it, it just kind of randomizes an area. Just add a few more. And let's add a different bush color here. So you can see that some of these bushes have been added there. There's another one up there. Let's do this. Oh, I already did that one. Let's do another one. So we go back to the scene, you can see that the whole zone's filled up with bushes, and let me tell you, that would have taken me at least five hours to do by hand. I don't even know. It could have taken me a whole day if I wanted it to look as unique as this does. 
you know and, and when you start scrolling through the game it, like they're just so randomly placed they would take forever to do that by hand so huge huge savings um i do notice that there is one problem here and uh that's some of these things have been placed in the middle of paths so what i did for that was I added a little thing to block them while i'm adding it and then i just disable it when i'm done so let's restart the bushes and just clear them out i'll just start doing it again Look at that, just like a couple clicks and everything looks pretty cool again. Let's add a couple more. Next thing, let's do grass because I find it looks really nice when the grass is done. So I think this one's the grass. And here is my grass texture or mesh. Make sure the rotations change and just start plugging away. starting to look pretty neat can add some flowers in there too oh yeah oh no oh, that was a little too much I don't like that yeah, but whatever let's add in this one and then add in this one they're hard to see but they're little purple flowers here <laughs> So basically, well, once that's all done, I just have to merge them all together. So let's start off with the bushes. Now these other ones here, these are ones that that reside over things like a, like a lake or a river. And of course, I can't put any trees or anything down on there, so I just delete them because they weren't being used. And then I add in my new script that combines them all, quickly combine them. Now they go all pink at first, but essentially, I just have to find the uh, texture that they use, which is that one. And then I can delete the excess, and that's done. Just make sure I set them to occluder. That way, occlusion works for them. And then I do the same thing for the grass. Oh. Now there's more in the grass folder because they, they tend to be larger and I needed more. So I just had to divvy them up a little bit more. And these are all the empty ones that weren't being used because they're probably over the lake or the river. So same thing, go ahead, merge those together. And boom, done. So essentially that is all optimized as best as you can and this entire scene is filled off with cool looking grass shrubs trees and what did that take us like five minutes so <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, make sure uh, you like and subscribe okay cool thanks